The Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, hosted the 54th edition of the annual Bankers Dinner in Lagos. The event brought together bank CEOs, business leaders, former presidents and registrars of the institute, leaders of thought and financial market players. In his opening remarks, the president and chairman of council, CIBN, Dr. Uche Olowu, assured guests and stakeholders that the institute remains focused on emerging the reference points for skills and conduct in the global banking industry. Over the last one and a half years, our driving force has been the need to be contemporary, forward-thinking, and future-oriented in order to ensure that we remain ahead of the change curve. Largely, we have been able to push this as our philosophical foundation in our attempt to focus on our vision of being a global reference point for skills and conduct in the banking and finance industry. The advent of breakthrough technologies has created global disruptions in our daily activities. The financial services landscape not exempted. The challenge, this challenge provided an opportunity for the institute to make a difference, especially in the areas of our core mandate, which include, one, capacitizing the current and future workforce of the industry, ensuring the adherence, furtherance, maintenance, and observance of ethical standards and professionalism, advocacy as the conscience of the industry. Mindful of these innovative disruptions, we have positioned ourselves for the future by focusing on the capacity building and content development, even as we groom the workforce of the future. In a bid to produce quality manpower that is competent, ethical, and professional for the banking industry, we have reviewed the syllabi of our banking professional examination and certification program, making it contemporary, addressing emerging issues, emerging issues, and taking into cognizance the skills of the future. The new syllabus was developed in conjunction with the institutions of global repute and endorsed by a wide range of stakeholders within and outside shores of Nigeria. Esteemed audience, in the last one and a half years, we have raised the quality of our programs and products in fulfillment of our mandate as a sole accreditation agency under the competency framework. We have continued to ensure quality assurance through accreditation of bank academies and educational training service providers, including the Central Bank of Nigeria Learning Center. We have succeeded in changing the narratives of our great institute. We have elevated our brand visibility. We have supported the economy, supporting not only financial inclusion, but economic inclusion. We, have, we believe we have left legacy. Will the future judge us right? We leave that to posterity. Special guest of honor and governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Emefiele, in his keynote said the monetary policy approach for 2020 will be geared towards supporting the real economy and the diversification of Nigeria's export revenue. I'd like to reiterate that it is of vital and utmost importance that we begin to believe in Nigeria's greatness. Our country is blessed with abundant human and natural resources, which, if truly harnessed, will see to Nigeria's emergence as one of the world's top 20 economies. Nigeria and Nigerians have great potentials, and we must do everything possible to harness it. We must redouble our efforts to continue to support actions by the government, monetary and fiscal authorities to diversify the base of the Nigerian economy through the encouragement of Made in Nigeria products. We must also consume what we produce and produce what we consume. We must discourage the propensity to import what we can produce in Nigeria. This is because if we do not reduce imports, the same imports will kill us as a nation. Knowing fully well 
that such activities do not aid our efforts in creating jobs and supporting the growth of our local industries. If we choose to support excessive import of goods that can be produced in Nigeria, we will lose jobs, our industries will die, and insecurity and other social vices in our land will continue to increase. We must choose this alternative path of improving domestic production, which will support the growth of our local economy. While errors have been made in the past, we must forge ahead knowing that it is indeed still possible to attain a great, a great Nigeria. But this can only be achieved if we work together and engage in activities that support improved production and consumption of our goods and services that can be produced in this country. Our market is large enough to generate considerable skill and high returns to any efficient business. The banking industry has a critical role to play in this regard, as access to credit can spur household demand and domestic production of goods and services. If we all work together, we will be able to generate double-digit growth numbers in the near future. Highlights of the event was the announcement of the One Billion Naira Endowment Fund, which will focus on education. As we push forward on our priorities to drive economic growth, it is also critical that the banking industry remains focused on, a, on having a positive social impact on our society. I am glad that the banking sector is making significant contributions in this direction, as 5% of its annual profits are dedicated to the agri-business small and medium enterprise investment scheme. The scheme has supported farmers and small entrepreneurs and small businesses in engaging in productive activities. This contribution does not mean that we should relent in supporting social causes that are beneficial to society. In this vein, and following extensive discussions, I am pleased to announce a 1 billion Naira Bankers Charitable Endowment Fund. The Bankers Charitable Endowment Fund will fund a major charitable initiative every year starting in 2020. While several intervention initiatives will no doubt have attendant social benefits in communities, the Bankers Charitable Endowment will directly fund strategic social programs in states and local communities across Nigeria. This fund is a first of its kind in any industry in Nigeria. And my hope is that it will spur a trend across other industries and sectors to collaborate and work together to better the lives of all Nigerians. The CBI remains open and committed to working with all well-meaning parties towards supporting the growth and progress of our country, Nigeria. And in this, I thank you all very much for your attention and also thank you once again for being here today. Also, the next generation of banking leaders alongside fintech firms received awards for their contribution to the growth of the banking sector. The president of the CIBN and CEO of Ecobank Nigeria, Mr. Patrick Akimuto, both spoke on the 54th annual bankers dinner and the prospects for 2020. The Chartered Institute of Bankers is, you know, assisting and producing the right workforce for the future. With the disruptions that are going on in banking, what it catches our attention every day is how do we prepare current workforce and the future workforce in preparation or in anticipation of what is happening, that we must always remain ahead of the change curve. Basically, this is what the philosophical foundation that drives us. And then, of course, we also intervene in the area of advocacy to make sure that we support the right policies and also criticize 
that which is anti-people. But so far, so good. Um, with respect to what the uh, uh, central bank governor says, I believe those projections are achievable, provided there is um, alignment of the fiscal and monetary policies, which we, 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 know, we, we anticipate, especially with the president, you know, economic council, you know, bringing out solid policies that will galvanize and jumpstart growth. Basically, this is it, because of our teaming population. It is doable if it's been done in other climates. All we need is a concerted effort to making sure that that works. And that's how CIBN will continue in the area of advocacy to support uh, any intervention in that regard. 2020, we'll see banks, all of us, uh, leveraging on the gains of the foundation we have laid in the last three, four years. Uh, 2019 was particularly unique because of the massive push towards supporting agri and the creative industries uh, and we'll continue to leverage on that. We also have made significant strides in expanding access to finance uh, in terms of financial inclusion to all Nigerians, both the unbanked and the underbanked. Um, and in 2020, of course, we expect that as we bring more Nigerians uh, into the financial system, as we support the productive sector, the real sector, uh, with the various interventions that we have put together, the Bankers Committee and the Central Bank, we expect that in 2020 we will continue to see um, a faster and acceleration of the growth of our GDP. Uh, you continue to see that the interest rate regime is tending towards single digit. The whole idea is to empower production Empire Export uh, for us at EcoBank, uh, given our Pan-African presence and given the uh, Africa Free Trade Agreement that is uh, coming through, we are quite excited. Uh, we have invested significantly in supporting cassava production. Uh, we'll be announcing that very shortly. Uh, it's a massive cassava production in order to translate into, into ethanol. Uh, and of course substitute the massive importation of ethanol. So we expect a much more inclusive financial system. Uh, we are expanding access through agency networks, which we are also very focused on in EcoBank. And you recall, uh, for us at EcoBank, we also introduced the free session on Star 326 hash, so that every Nigerian has a chance uh, to get onboarded, just use your phone, Start 326 hash, you open an Express account and you start uh, to do transactions. You go to any of the agents, you save, you can save as basic as 100 naira daily, 200 naira daily, 500 naira daily, 1000 daily without incurring an additional charge and at your neighborhood. Uh, and a lot of my colleagues in the industry, other bank CEOs, are playing significant roles because all of us at the Bankers Committee. Uh, are very focused. You saw the announcement of uh, the, ch the charitable uh, program that we put together, 1 billion naira, to support education, support the young ones to come up. And at today's event, you saw us recognizing the young bankers. These are the future generation. And it's all about creating a sustainable financial system. So I'm quite positive about next year. I'm quite positive that will leverage the gains of what we've established this year in order to realize the potentials of our large and uh, significant country, both in Africa and globally. Nigeria is a key country, and we're very confident that we'll take it to the next level. From the 54th Annual Bankers' Dinner, it is clear that the CIBN is poised to leverage breakthrough technologies to position itself as a dynamic and pragmatic global banking institutes. For the 2020 monetary policy outlook, Nigerians must brace up as CBN continues to support the nation's roadmap to robust double-digit economic growth. Mm -hmm.